Hello guys, yes, Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make perfect creamy and very tasty bottle gourd halwa. It's really amazingly delicious to eat and the main problem of the halwa is when we add milk in the halwa, the milk starts to curdle. But I am going to share an amazing trick to prevent the milk from curdling. It will be perfect, really creamy, juicy and super tasty to eat. So guys, let's see the recipe. For making halwa, I am taking a tender bottle gourd. The bottle gourd must be tender. You can check it with your nails like this. Your nails should be inserted very easily into the bottle gourd like this. So our bottle gourd is very tender and now I am going to peel it off and after that we need to wash it properly. So let's do it. After washing properly, we need to grate it. So, I am taking a grater and it is a big size grater as you can notice. And here I have a fine size grater. But I use it for making puris. That means kheer. But don't use this fine size grater for halwa. So, I am taking this big size grater and now let's grate it. Halwa becomes perfect with this big size grater only. So, let's do it. And another thing is. My bottle gourd is very much tender, so I am not removing any part of it. But if your bottle gourd is a little big, then you may cut the bottle gourd lengthwise and remove the seedy part of it from the inner side. But I am not removing any part of it, I am just grating it. Let's grate the whole bottle gourd like this. So after grating, this is our bottle gourd and now we need to remove some water from it. We don't need any cotton cloth for squeezing the water from it. We need only our hand. No need to use other thing. I am squeezing the water very easily, very slightly. And we don't need to remove all the water from it, just removing the excess water. And this little quantity of water is released and uh, here is our bottle gourd. Now we need to put a pan on the heater and I am adding some ghee. Only one teaspoon of ghee I am adding. Ghee means clarified butter and we don't need so much ghee for this recipe. After the ghee is heated well, I am taking some dry fruits. I am taking some dry dates, some almonds, some uh, cashews and some raisins. You may take any kind of dry fruits as you like or as available near you. And I chopped all the dry fruits roughly just except the raisins. And now we need to fry all of them. The heat should be on medium now and we need to fry them for one and a half minute. After that we need to fry the bottle gourd with the uh, dry fruits. After adding bottle gourd we need to add two secret things to enhance the taste and the texture of the halwa. The first thing is 2 pinches of salt but not more than that. We are making a sweet dish that means halwa. So only 2 pinches of salt to enhance the sweetness of the halwa. And now 1 pinch of baking soda. Yes, it's the secret thing of the halwa that will prevent the milk from curdling and the halwa will be super creamy and perfect in texture. Now we need to fry for some time on medium heat until the quantity is decreased and the color is nicely translucent and now it's ready. Now we are going to add milk. I am taking only one glass of pre-boiled milk. It's full cream cow milk pre-boiled and I am taking only one glass of milk and it's enough for this recipe. So let's add it. And we are going to add some more things to make it rich such as uh, mawa, khoya or malai uh, that means milk cream. So we don't need to add so much milk for this recipe. After adding milk we need to wait for some time on medium heat and no need to cover the pan with a lid. We need to stir it occasionally so that the bottle gourd can be cooked evenly. The bottle gourd should be cooked 100% before adding sweetness. So I am checking it but uh, it is not cooked 100% yet. 
so we need to wait for another some time and now i'm checking it again as you can see and it's very nicely cooked it's cooked 100 percent so now i'm going to add sweetness i'm adding about one fourth cup of sugar according to taste you may change the quantity of sugar according to your taste there's no problem and you may add jaggery instead and now I'm adding about 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder for a nice flavor. Now we need to wait again and we need to stir it continuously like this to prevent burn from the bottom. After the quantity of milk is decreased a little, we need to add something more for making it rich. You may add khoya or mawa, but I'm adding some malai. Malai means milk cream. It's cow milk cream I stored for two days. Here it is. About half cup of milk cream I'm adding. You may change the quantity of milk cream or mawa. There is no problem according to your wish. After adding milk cream, we need to wait again. And we need to stir it continuously like this to prevent burn from the bottom. We need to wait for decreased quantity. We need to dry it up until uh, your desired consistency is here so now this is the consistency of the halwa and i am not going to dry it more after cooling down it will be thicker than this so now i am turning the heat off and now we need to let it cool down fully and after that i'll serve it after serving in bowls i'll keep it in the refrigerator for some time and after that i'll serve it for eating so now it's fully cooled down and it's thicker than before as you can notice and it's super juicy super creamy and super delicious to look at it's looking so tempting and it's super tasty to eat also so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care